the East Brunswick Public Library partnered with the East Brunswick High School Code Club to participate in Hour of Code, a global movement reaching millions of students in over 180 countries to encourage computer science and programming. Hour of Code is a worldwide initiative. Um, you can find out more about it at code.org. Um, it's really a place and a time for people to get together to learn more about coding and programming and uh, how easy it could be to get into computer science. Hour of Code is this idea that, I mean, you've heard it over and over again, to, the ability to get more young people to start programming. There's no programs. Very few high schools in the state of New Jersey and across the country have even something for kids to do. So we're lucky as a, as a school district to offer three, four different courses, but we want to bring in the young students. I want to be able to show the middle schoolers, the town, that we are here, we're here to program, and let's bring them together and show them what, what can be done, and if they're interested, they can move on and go from there. Mr. Cohen came and asked me if he thought that the library would be willing to host Hour of Code, um, and I was really happy to hear about it because I had been thinking about Hour of Code last year. We didn't get it together in time, and Mr. Cohen came to me with enough time to plan this around in September and we got it together. So Hour of Code really works throughout this week in December. The website's active all year. You can always go to code.org, um, and if you do code.org slash learn, you'll see all the tutorials that we're working on today. My first experience of the library was about two years ago when I came here to rent a movie f to play for my students while I was gone, and I was blown away by how expansive this library was and all the different programs. And I said, we should tap into this. Why can't we have this collaborative nature where they can come here, it's aside from school so it's it's more relaxed you have adult you have great supervision and you just all this learning going on all over we we should we i want to use it as much as i can all over the library on all of the computers they can go to code.org slash learn to work on any of the tutorials that show them how to program make apps make games but we also have several different activities we have two awesome guest speakers matt monash from zynga is actually an east brunswick high school graduate is going to be skyping in to talk to us and caddy will be calling us as well um, from brooklyn and she is a president and ceo of a social media online voting platform um, so we're hoping that she'll call in and really encourage women to start coding as well. Uh, we also have a station for Arduino here, which we really like at the library, and several other places that are using different apps like Lightbot or the MIT App Inventor. We also have an offline activity that just uses cups and teaches you how to program uses, using cups. Well, we're trying to partner up with all the different other organizations that want this. And remember, if we bring students to learn how to program, these are the future leaders who are going to be getting the jobs and the companies want it. So we started the Code Club in order to, to aggregate all these events. And as we see events, we, we tell the students about it. When this club was being initiated, I was actually asked to help out with its uh, inaugural events and its planning and as we got into it we learned more about this the the computer science education week with Hour of Code and we, as we got more into that we started planning this event and it, we just wanted it to be a great success for these students who are actually wanting to go into computer science but are unable to because there's no that, not that many opportunities in the East Brunswick public community so we decided let's have this event to show people that computer science is not just anything where you just sit there and just type random letters and symbols there's a logic in behind it there's a process behind it where we can actually make something something creative and collaborate and do something amazing I came out here because I want to learn of codes and um, since I did um, in Churchill I want to come here to do um, some more difficult codes. Uh, I've been working on Code Academy, which I'm working on right now, and I've been working, um, it's code, Codebot, it's about, um, you get to move the robot some commands, and that's about it. Uh, well, my sophomore year of high school, uh, I did. I took Mr. Cohen's Intro to Computer Science class because my dad is a computer engineer. I learned about it, and I was just amazed at what you could do with maybe a few lines of code or maybe a few lines of HTML and turn a web page into a piece of art with maybe you know a few lines of CSS, HTML, and JavaScript. And I just was amazed by this fact, and I decided, you know, I'm going to go into computer science now, and I'm going to pursue it as a field and pursue it as a career. If the library holds another event like this next year, would you come back? Yes, I will, and I will, I will do the same thing over again, codes, codes, codes everywhere. If you're interested in finding out what else is coming up for the teens this year, go to ebpl.org and click on the teen link on the main website, uh, and you'll see our teen webpage, and we also have a calendar that um, shows all the things that are happening in December and anything that's happening in the future. Two things that I'll say that are coming up 
are the teen volunteer fair on Saturday, December 20th. Um, it's really important if any teens want to volunteer at the library, they should come to that fair. It's from two to four. Uh, the East Brunswick Youth Council will also be there and so will the National Honor Society. So if you want to find out about volunteering, come on that day. And then on December 22nd, Monday night, we will also be doing a Arduino um, workshop with Kunj, our teen here who is showing off Arduino today. So if you see Arduino today and you're interested, come back on Monday the 22nd. I just want everyone to have fun and I want next year to be bigger and better and and I want everyone just to, even if you haven't coded for an hour, go there, try it, code.org slash learn and just get coding.